Hi, I'm Bonnie Browning with the American Quilter Society, and I'm here with another set of winners in the Ultimate Guild Challenge at Grand Rapids, Michigan. This is the Peaceful Valley Quilters from Middleville, Michigan, and we're glad to have another Michigan winner. We're glad to be winners. <laughs> okay, well, and so, Bonnie, why don't you tell us a little bit about your guild developing the challenge you did? Okay. Well, it kind of started in my, my little mind, um, seeing the barn quilts, uh, you know, around uh, as you're traveling. And so I got, that would be something really cool. And then I was going through the internet one day and I came across a thing with your blocks. And I, I fell in love with this block and I said that would be perfect. And so I, I started developing what our challenge was going to be and presented it to the ladies. And they all went, oh, at first because they knew it was going to be tough, but <laughs> they persevered through. So That's why we call it a challenge, That's right? why it's a challenge. That's right. That's all right. right. Well, um, and so congratulations on being one of our winners. We always, we always love it when we have a home state crew that is a winner. And, um, and that we hope you guys will put together another one for another time. Well, I think we will definitely probably try. Now we're going to have each of the quilters tell us a little bit about their individual quilts. My name is Bonnie Roby, and this is my quilt, New Mexico Sunset. And it's part of the Along the Barn Quilt Trail Challenge. And I fell in love with this block that uh, Bonnie Browning had put out on the internet in one of her books. And so that's where I got the New Mexico part of the, the design from. And uh, I decided to keep with the theme of the New Mexico colors and all my quilting in here. I uh, did research on um, Native American designs. So they all have some sort of meaning that goes along with the Native American theme. And uh, I really, uh, I had a piece of fabric that I I um, dyed and it really looked like the mountains and things so I thought that would be great and that's how I ended up with the sunset part of the deal. Um, a lot of this is, is thread work where you um, put it on the, the clear wash away and then you, you scribble with your fabric and then wash it away and you have nothing but the, the thread left. It's, it was kind of a, a theme that I did for my husband because he used to live in New Mexico so I wanted to make something for him so that's what that one is all about. So my challenge was to make it look like some place you would see in New Mexico, so. Hi, my name is Kathy Medlin, and I'm with this group challenge, the Peaceful Valley Quilters, and I chose this barn because it has been in our family for possibly five generations. At one time when the Civil War was going on, they had over 80 acres of land and had to give up a lot of it in order to afford to keep their, their um, barn. And so because the barn is still in unique shape, I decided I would go with that, make my aunt proud. And this is the exact remnant of what the barn does look like except for the little quilt in the center. Now the, the block, I really wasn't sure in the beginning what I was gonna do, but I wanted to keep it really, um, the same kind of colors to complement the barn. And so um, this is what I went with and I um, used the, my Janome Horizon, a domestic machine to do all the quilting all the way. And we do have some of the uh, soyable threads where you uh, sew on this clear soyable fabric and you dissolve it in water and all you have left is the the thread work and you just um, fuse it on there and machine quilt. The lamp, the um, light post is still there at the farm and this is a part of the forest that's to the right of there. And um, the little brown cow, cow was something they gave me when I was a little girl. Of course they ate it up. But this is it. I was very proud to do this and the name of my quilt is Moody Memories. It is the last name of the family generation. Thank you. My name is Brenda Bremer, and my quilt is in, called Indian Trail. That's the name of the block. This is a picture of my actual horse barn at my house, Four Seasons Farm. I actually have this barn quilt on my barn already. It's been on about five years. I made it. Um, 
This is my first time I've ever quilted, quilted anything. So I did a lot of straight stitching, but I used a texture magic for my trees that pull, you heat it and it pulls. Um, I did a lot of hand flowers and um, just a lot of special fabrics. The sky took me about 10 hours. <laughs> and I then uh, did the embroidery for the horse blocks in the corners. That's it. My name is Betty Bourne. This is my quilt. And the whole big block is called Puerto Rico. The barn quilt uh, is made from a photograph. I took the photograph of my friend's barn uh, who has since died, but I wanted, wanted to make her barn, so I did. I put it on the big quilt. Uh, the tree, I cut out a whole bunch of little pieces and put them down, decided that that was taking too long, so I just put little hunks of fabric to build up the tree and then over the top put some more of the ones that I had actually cut out. Uh, we, I wanted to make it a little bit interesting so I have a deer's head poking out here and a pheasant over here and then the picture just showed a bunch of green grass so I added some rocks and some geese to make it a little more interesting. Uh, and then put some birds in the sky just to add some interesting Try, try to add, add interesting to it, so that's my block. Hi, my name is Marie Nicholas, and this is my um, barn, and it's called Rim Plain. And um, this is my grandfather's barn. It was built in 1936. And I took it from the photograph, the by five inch photograph. And I um, did a lot of quilting, and I did a lot of thread painting, and I did a lot of um, water solution with the thread so you can see all the grass all curled up and then I add the rock and um, then I just add all the cows and the horses and then this is my first time doing a free motion quilting on the block around here so that was my first time quilting. Hi my name is Lorraine Faka and this is my entry into the Ultimate Guild Challenge and it is titled Shag Bark Hickory Farms because of the Shag Bark Hickory. Um, the challenge was to take a picture and to create a, um, that re replicate that picture in fabric um, approximately 18 inches and to use the um, square as the background and I chose um, I was just driving around, unlike most of the other people who have barns in the family or actually own barns. This, I was just driving the rural roads and found this um, barn and took a picture of it with a shag bark hickory in front. Um, it's the first quilt that I've ever quilted myself. Um, and I'm very happy with the results. Okay, so now you've heard a little bit about how all of these ladies made their quilts. We'll be doing this challenge here at Grand Rapids at AQS Quilt Week again next year. We hope you'll develop a challenge for your guild and that you'll enter and maybe you'll be standing right here with a third place ribbon just like they did. Be sure to enter. You can't win if you don't enter. <laughs>